fine? Yeah, yeah just... No more. First song, Jitters. First song, Jitters. That little red light. <laughs> Something in the extreme music is just the power, I guess, that comes behind like the huge distorted guitars and drums. Like you just can't get that with any other type of music. And uh, it also gets to a point once like, or once you get to a certain point of listening to heavy music, it's kind of hard to go back the other way. So I mean, now I can just kind of just relax to some dying pitas and just chill out, or you know, some blasting drums. So I don't know, I think once you get past a certain point and find a heavy band, it's, it's kind of just like the standard after that almost. Yeah, there's times when you get frustrated because you're you know, you're trying to nail a part, or this, you know, this, you have this, like, once again, the ideal in your head of, you know, what you're playing, and you could have practiced it a million times, but, you know, when you get in the studio, um, it's like you being naked in front of a million people, <laughs> you know, it's every little flaw is, like, magnified. That might have been solid, yeah. influences there's a lot of like sort of you know the sort of subgenre you know sort of blender going on but without being something that's so consciously like oh here's our here's our brutal death metal part oop whoop here's our prog whatever prog means these days I guess a keyboard and fashion sense but Dave's great. He uh, he's really easy to work with, and uh, actually has a lot of good ideas. I mean, he didn't use every one, but sometimes it'd be like try this, you know. And I was like, it just sounds sometimes it sounds better than what I had going. And yeah, I mean, he's great. He he has like a knowledge of metal too, which really helps. Let's just try and uh, like even half-ass do it over and make sure it even sounds. Cool. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, that's Those what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And either just be like, na, 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 na. But like, I think that's gonna sound weak. I'd rather just have you, yeah, just fucking write it, kind of like try to keep it sizzling, you know. <laughs> There's gonna be 500 sold to Travis yeah. and little bits of everyone else. Yeah. That's what I was joking about. I haven't sold any Dave McRaw. Oh my yeah. god, I love that on the Elmore's garden bargain. I was fucking joking about whoever has like the last sauce gonna feel all fucking bad. Who would have liked Yeah. Anyway. It's the design. Yeah, it's the design. <laughs> yeah, really good. Which which you really nailed it. Yeah, I think everyone's happy with theirs though. So I think they all look good. Yeah. There's no ones that's like, no, oh, there's this. Okay. But that was just a great. No, I like all of them. All of them did a fantastic job. I didn't think it was weird when Travis said he nailed your lips. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went, dude, I went home and told Cindy that. She's just like, 
why would he notice that? He's right, but that scares me. Yeah, <laughs> why does he know what your nose look like? So, <laughs> like, dude, the head of your cock is just. So <laughs> Yeah, a lot of things, a lot of people like to do in metal is just turn the bass down right away, but I try to get like a real a good attack style tone to where you can hear every note and add some cool fills that doesn't just follow the guitar the entire time, so. actually two here that were made by the fe this fellow in San Diego, uh, Fred Murata at uh, Naked Guitars. Um, this guy's another Fred guitar. Uh, this one's obviously a little more traditional metal looking. Uh, the body is very Jackson soloist style. Um, same body wood as the original Black Limba, um, although he stained the back kind of green. Well, not kind of, but green, grass green. Um, so it, I really like that look. I almost wish I'd get the whole thing done like this. Well, it's kind of obnoxious, but whatever. Uh, maple neck, rosewood board, um, abalone, abalone inlays. Uh, same configuration pickup wise, a mega drive, an air zone. Okay, this guy is a guitar made by Cardinal Instruments um, of Austin, Texas. Um, the Zircode, it's almost as like a you know, moonscapish, you know, <laughs> like a uh, sort of like a horizon view kind of thing, which is just the same, it's the same piece of wood. This is my pedal board that I pretty much take everywhere. Um, you know, all US tours and, you know, international stuff too. Really simple. It's filthy right now. <laughs> um, but Morley Wah, Morley Volume, pedal power, and yeah, a little Planet Ways tuner thing, and Layla. If that's proper to pronounce it, dual. On this record, you're going to be hearing um, a lot of octave, sh or not a lot, but a decent amount of octave shifting, both up and down, two up and one down. This whammy pedal is it's kind of like the standard for that. It, um, I think every next cattle album is the best cattle album, and I'd hope that everyone, you know, I mean, people who are either in our situation or, you know, other creative endeavors, you know, they're, everything they do is their best thing they can do. That's not to detract from stuff they've done in the past, but just everything you're doing, you want to make the best possible. <laughs> Turn the camera on now. <laughs> but uh, another big one was the first real concert I saw was Alice in Chains opening for Kiss, and the bass player came out and it was just thunderous in the arena, and I was pretty much right then and there I knew I was gonna be playing bass. So, and then you know later on, honing my skills, you know Alex Webster, Steve DiGiorgio, Eric from Cryptopsy. All these guys just shredding the bass, you know, just really helped my style anyway. Hopefully you're, you, know, you can come closer to your ideal and your sort of perfected version. And um, we did really well with Harvest Floor, I think. Uh, but I think this one, um, in terms of you know, songwriting, production, ability, everything has kind of been taken up a step. 